Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Yari. How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm fine. And what did you do today? The same. Ah. I work. Only work. Eh, only work. Para ti trabajé. Hello, teacher. Con la con la transmisión en de verdad. Work. I worked. I worked work. with work. the T, the pronunciation with, with T. Ah, T, work. With T, T, worked. Okay, work. Say it, Yanni. Let me listen. Work. No, this is in present. In past is worked. Work. T. Moment. Work. No, Gary, no, 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 más o menos, no lo está diciendo. <laughs> eh, solo hace la final. T -t work. No, Yari, only the last part. Only the t. Only the t. No. Solo hace la última parte, Yari. El t. El. Así. Decilo, Yari. Así. Work. No, 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 no la palabra. Solo repetí mímica, una mímica. T. Solo ese sonido quiero que hagas, Yari. Dale. T. Sí. Me escucha. No. No, pero sí lo estoy diciendo. Ahí, ahí sí te escucho hablando. A ver, intenta el sonido. Ajá. No, Yari, no lo estás diciendo. Yeah, teacher, I can't listen here. No, Yari, ya ves. No. Solo cuando hablas se te escucha, pero el sonido no lo estás haciendo. Solo hace el sonido. No, yeah, Qué teacher. Raro. I can hear. You can hear, Eric? Yes? Yeah, yeah. Qué raro, qué raro. Ok. So. She's, she said. Try again, Yari. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, ok. Aquí voy. Ah, es que cuando hablas, hablas normal y cuando lo haces, lo suaves, bien suave, bien suave, bien suave. Ajá. Ok, Ari, it's ok. No tengas pena, porque cuando estás hablando normal, ah, sí, teacher, ¿me escucha? Sí, yo lo estoy diciendo. No, Ari, hay que hacerlo así. Okay. Entonces, más fuerte. Sí, es que tenés, para poder pronunciar bien en el inglés, al principio tenés que exagerar los sonidos. Ese sonido final, los final sounds, tenés que exagerarlo. Entonces, para que después te, te vaya quedando normal. Worked. Or. Fíjate que cómo hiciste el sonido y cómo terminaste la palabra. Porque el sonido no lo terminaste lo mismo que la palabra. Lo vas a terminar como cuando eran los niños chiquitos que andan jugando de pistola y ellos andan... Así vas a terminar las palabras con T en el... Las palabras regulares en el pasado. Worked. Worked. Excellent, Yari. Excellent. All right. Woo. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Yari. Ok. Y es para todos. Es el mismo sonido, ¿verdad? Se termina el sonido de verbos regulares que terminan con ese sonido de... T. Vamos a tenerlo así como las pistolas. Worked. Okay. El que es posible, Vane. <laughs> Perdón, estaba hablando. <laughs> no te preocupes, Vane. No problem. No problem. It's okay, Vane. Es posible. Todo es posible. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So today we're going to continue. Continue with the simple past. The simple past <clears throat> of regular verbs. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Vamos a ver si han estado estudiando y si se los aprendieron o no se los aprendieron. Ok. Yo le voy a decir el verbo en presente y ustedes me lo dicen en pasado. Ok. Por ejemplo, con Vane, go. ¿Y el pasado? Go. Is... No, 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 Vane. Uh, vamos a la siguiente. Adele, go. Hey, güey. <laughs> 
Es bueno. Get up. Ahí está, ahí está. Bueno. Ay, vale, ¿quién te está ayudando? Ajá, ajá. Es bueno. Es bueno. Ajá, es bueno. Ajá. Yes, Adela, good. Okay. Let's, let's continue. Let's continue. Eric, okay. Eh, get up. Get up. Got up. Excellent, Eric. Excellent. <laughs> Moises, meet. Meet. I don't know, teacher. I don't know. I, I, I lo vi, <laughs> ni, ni, ni 24 horas. No. no, ayer no pude conectarme, teacher. Ah, ya ve, ya ve, y ahí, ya, ya eso es lo que se perdió ayer. Ok. Yeah. Crisia, Crisia, meet. Met. Excellent, excellent. All right, ya vamos, ya vamos. Ok. Eh, le, vamos a ver. Jocelyn, have. Have. Had. Excellent, Jocelyn, excellent. Ok. Eh, Paola, do. Did. Yeah, very good, Paola, very good. Ok. Eduardo, come. Come. <laughs> Come. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? ¿Come o came? ¿Cómo es? Come. Came. There you go. Excellent. Come. Came. Came. Ah, okay. Good, good. That's the idea. So, remember, practice the verb in the past tense. This is from 4.8. 4.8, we have the verbs. Past, did. Present, do. The same, past went, present go. Only practice the verbs. Today we're going to continue, okay? Verbs, okay. We are going to make five questions to continue. Five questions. For example, if Veronica is my partner, I ask Veronica, okay. Veronica, did you cook today? Veronica, did you cook today? Hello, teacher. Hello, Veronica. Este... Yes, I did. Ah, excellent, Veronica. That's it. That's it. That's correct. Yes, I did. Okay. okay. Muy bien. Ahora, Veronica, esa es la primera parte. Acuérdense, eso es bien cortante en inglés. Tenemos que dar más información, porque ese es como que, sí. ¿Amas a tu mamá? Sí. Mm, suena feo, ¿verdad? Así es como suena en inglés. Ese, yes, I did, así es como suena, como ese, sí. So, uh, did you cook today? I could meet, um, I could meet in the dinner. Ah, ok. Good, good. Acuérdense, ¿cómo pronunciamos el pasado de cook? ¿Cómo pronunciamos? Al principio de la clase lo estuvimos. Tú, 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 tú. ¿Cómo estamos pronunciando cook? Good. Good. Cool. Right. Así como la pistola, acuérdense. Así van a terminar. Cooked. Cooked. Verónica. Cook. I... Así. Así, así. Yes. Ok. Da la oración. Bueno. Go ahead. I cook meat in the dinner. Ok. Very good. This is the example. With your partner, five questions. Five answers. Y no sean tramposos. Si su compañero solo dice, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Ay, ay, ay. ¿Y qué pasó? El qué pasó. Y el ya nos dijo que no, eso no cuenta. Así que no sean tramposos. All right. So five questions, five answers. It's okay or more examples? It's okay, teacher. Excellent. More example, teacher. More example, more example. Okay, okay. Let's get more example. Bye. Hagamos una pregunta, tú y yo. Vamos. Preguntame algo. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer la pregunta? Did you... Did you went to the park today? Más o menos, pero cuando hacemos la pregunta, no va el verbo en pasado. Let's see. Is, ¿Cómo va a ser? Ana Beatriz, how is the question? Um, when you go 
Ana Beatriz, ask the question. Did you clean? No, no, la que iba a decir. Today? Que, la que, la, yes, it's correct, Ana, it's correct. Pero la que iba a decir, Jocelyn, le estamos ayudando. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? How's the question? Um, repeat, please. The bear asked uh, Wendy Jorra. Sería, did you go to the park in the morning? Ok, good, it's good, in the morning. Estaba en el chat, pero me, me, me alegra ah, que no, 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 está bueno, me alegra que vos te forzaste por hacerlo. Excellent, Ana. <laughs> Did you go to the park today? Excellent. Ok. And Gustavo, Gustavo, ¿cómo le voy a contestar a Jocelyn? Did you go to the park today? Yes, I did. I go to the park every day. Ah, very nice. Yes, I did. I go to the park every day. Ahí está correcto porque Gustavo está diciendo every day, es rutina. Pero si no, Gustavo tuviera que decir, yes, I did. I went to el cafetalón. I went to el bicentenario. I went to, ah, ahí sería solo por hoy. Pero como él dijo, every day, it's okay, the present. Jocelyn, is that okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Eric, how many questions? How many questions are we going to practice? Hello? Hello, Eric. For me, teacher. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. how Repeat, many, please. How many questions in the groups? How many questions? <clears throat> Quant. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas? ¿Cuántas preguntas vamos a hacer? How many questions? Ah, uh, five questions. Five questions, five, and five answers. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Let's go. Five questions, five answers. or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our past, yes or no. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. 
In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark, a good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did. Then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we'll add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, any question? Eh, yo tengo una pregunta. La pronunciación de, de dar en pasado, ¿cómo, cómo, es? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? El, ¿Cuál palabra, Vane? De dar, el verbo dar. Give. Give, uh -huh. en pasado. Give. Gave. Give. Gave. Uh -huh. Gave. Okay. Good. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, comer eight. Eight. Correct. In the past, eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, Thanks. Mm -hmm. How do you say uh, was in pasado? Was. What? Were? Por ejemplo, quiero decir, fue un día muy pesado. 
was. Was, ajá, en pasado. Eso es el pasado. Fue, ya dijiste, fue. Ok, no cambia, queda lo mismo. Como dice fue, es que o sea, fue, fue es was. Sí, fue el pasado. No, okay. No, porque el presente es, es, es un día. Pasado. Correcto, sí, 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 correcto, sí. Ok, gracias. Ajá. Solo, Adela, acordate que cambia de acuerdo a la persona. It was y were. Okay. okay. Where is for three, for third person, right? Third person. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Was, was is for third person. He was, she was, it was. Okay. And where is for? I, uh, uh, sorry, we were, they were, you were. Okay. We were. Okay. Teacher. Yes. El pasado de drive is drove. Correct. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Let's continue. Teacher, I have a question. Continue yes. with continue with the topic was. Mm -hmm. Can I say I was in the supermarket or or not? Yes. It's yes, it's correct. I was in the supermarket. And is uh, I was, Adela was, uh, Eduardo was, it was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now let's take a look together. Make sure that it's clear. Here, what is the question? How do we make the question? Do you have a good summer? What are we going to say? Did. Did. Okay. What about here? Yes, I did. I had. I had. Very nice. And here, I went. I went. Went. You see? Excellent. Excellent. This is for. 4.9 in the platform, 4.9. Okay, good. What about conversation two? Did you? Go. Uh, go. 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 Okay. No, I didn't. I? Stayed. Stayed. Nice. Uh-huh. And I? Got. Go. Good. Got. Nice conversation two. Very good. Okay, what about conversation three? Did you take? Take. Mm -hmm. Take. Yes, I did. I took. 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 Very good. And the last conversation, conversation four. Did you speak? Speak. speak. Did you speak? No, I didn't, but I read. 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 Red, the pronunciation, red. Red. Good. And I? Watch. Remember, like t -t 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 -t. What? Like the T, what? I watch. 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 No, watch it. No, watch it. Es lo mismo que la Worked. I watched. Watch. 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 Okay. So. Good job, you see, very nice, okay? And yesterday we watched the video for how to make the questions in the simple past, okay? ¿Alguien tiene duda de cómo hacemos la pregunta en el pasado? ¿Todavía hay alguien que no le quedó claro cómo hacemos preguntas? No. No? No, it's okay. It's okay. Ah, okay. Bueno, ya que está ok, entonces, let's try, let's try this, ok. With your partner, you are going to do 4.12. With the partner, you put this in the correct order. For example, here is not correct. Have you did summer a good is not correct. The correct is, did you have a good summer? You put the words in the correct form. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It's okay? It's okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay. All right, let's try. Let's try with our partners. Teacher, creo que quede afuera. ¿Por qué, Verónica? No te dio no. la invitación. No, teacher. Ahí está, que estás en invitación, pero no aceptaste. En serio. ¿Sí? Vas a estar con es... Alex. Estaba en mi... O sea, estoy en el teléfono, quizás. Ahí está, ahí está. No, no me lo agarra, teacher. Entendido. Ahí está, ahora sí. Ahora sí. Ahora sí, ok. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, any questions? Very fast, teacher. Very fast, yeah, very fast. <laughs> I, I couldn't into the platform, teacher. Ah, what happened? I don't know. Mm, okay, let's try to guess. Yeah, I said, I se me olvidó como se dice inicio. Start? Begin, start. Begin? Eh, no, en el inicio. O sea, inicio, inicio. Inicio, start. In the start. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw the start, but I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Eh, we, we, we do together, no problem. No problem, we try okay. together. Okay. okay. Here we have, watch television. Did you last night? Okay. Did you watch television last night? Ah, nice. Okay. Let's see. Did you watch television last night? Okay. 
Television. Oh, almost forgot the I. Television. Last night. Okay. What about number two? Have dinner you did last night. Did you have did dinner, you last, dinner night? last night? Nice. Did you have dinner last, last night? night. Mm -hmm. That's the last. Did you have dinner? Ah, mm -hmm. last night. Okay, good. The next one. Go to Did work. Did you go you to the work to yesterday? Work yesterday. Okay, let's see. And the last one. Did, Did they go to the movies on, on, on Wednesday? On Wednesday. Um, le faltó the movie. Ah, thank you. To... Did they go to? Excellent. What is the meaning with with this this question? With the, with the this this question, did they go to the yeah. movie? Yeah. Uh, for example, yeah. did they go to cinema? Did they go to multi cinema? Uh, it's better. It's better say, did, did they go to the movie th theater on Wednesday? No, no, no. It's not normal to say movie theater. It's normal to say movies. Oh. Uh, because the okay. movies. The movies is in the movie theater. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. So it's in English is logical. If you go to the movies, you go to the movie theater. Or you go to the movies in your house. I don't know. No, because you go. If if, if you go, is not in your house. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. Thank That's you. why. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, teacher, it's okay. All right, good job. You see, these are all the correct ways to make it. Remember, when you put in the platform, capital letter, capital letter, the D, and remember the question mark, the punctuation, the question mark, okay? Now we're going to watch a little video about discussing summer activities. These are the activities in the summer. What things do you like to do in the summer? What do you like to do in the summer? For you? I go to the beach. Ah, do you like to go to the beach? Okay, nice. Okay. What other things do you like to do in the summer? Visit with my family. Okay, visit the family. Good. What else? I rest in my house. Okay, okay. You like to rest in your house. But this is not only in the summer. This is any time. In the summer, what do you like to do in the summer? Chair, how do you say disfruta in English? Disfruta. Minuta. Ah, snow cone. Snow cone. I eat snow cone. Correct. You eat snow cones. Yes. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Any other activities that you like to do in the summer? I get up late. Okay. Visit my friend. Okay, visit your friends. Get up late, excellent. These are all the activities that you like to do in the summer, okay? Today we're going to learn more ideas, okay? About the different activities that we can do in the summer. Here, sorry. This is now 4.14. 4.14, the video. Here we have the video with many verbs. Hi, everyone. In this class. Okay. You see the verbs? We have go, have, meet, play, see, 
take. Do you understand all of those verbs? Yes. Okay, teacher, again. The, the verbs, one more time. Let's listen. We have go, have, mm -hmm. meet, play, play see, see, take. take. Do you understand those verbs? Uh, yeah, I understand. Okay. So okay. we we are going to put these verbs with the activities. Here are summer activities. And we put as an example with go is go a class is not correct. The correct is go hiking and the correct is go swimming. Now you have to combine have, meet, play, see, and take with the activities. These are in the WhatsApp also is in the WhatsApp. So with the partner, we are going to try to combine the activity and the work together. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. My best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. 
I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's check and see how you did. Let's see which are correct. We have go hiking, go swimming. And for have? A picnic. Correct, have a picnic. And a, a class. class. Have okay. a class. Hi everyone. That is correct. We have a picnic and we have a class. Excellent. What about meat? What do you meet? Meet new old friends, friends. Or new people, or new people. And, new people. and new people. Meet old friends and meet new people. Excellent. What about play? What do you play? Play tennis. Play, 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 ball. play tennis. And play volleyball. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good. What do you see? A movie. A movie. Okay. A movie. Pictures. A play. A play. No picture. No. Pictures, no, uh, pictures, play. no. See? A play. A play. A play. Correct. So you, you see a movie and you see a play. A play. A play. And what do you take? You take? Take a, a picture. Play a picture. And take fun. Take pictures? A play. And take? Take fun. Fun. Ah, okay. Yes. It's okay. But take fun, no. So let's have here. We are going to take pictures and take a, a class. class. Yes. A class. Yes, it's going to be better. Also, it's correct to say have a class. Uh, but fun. is why not fun? I have fun. Have yes. fun is como momento divertido. Yes, correct. Divertirse. This is have Divertirse. fun. Mm -hmm. Have fun. So we have fun, correct? And we have a picnic. We take a class and we take pictures. It's okay? Yeah, teacher, it's okay. Okay, good. So these are many activities that people do. Now we are going to listen and read what people do. What are some activities that people do? I sent to the WhatsApp. If you want to see better in the WhatsApp, and here we're going to listen. Everyone, in this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like yes, her husband. Yes. Okay. Rob. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's try one more time. One more time then. Okay. Está bien el volumen para todos? It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. 
And I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. First, are there any words you don't know? Yeah, teacher, I have a one word I don't I I don't know what is the meaning. Mm -hmm. Is wending. In where? Kelly, Robert, or Aaron? Kelly, Kelly. Kelly. Is wedding. Matrimonio. The wedding. The wedding. Mm -hmm. the wedding. The Wed this word right here, right? Yep. Wedding. Yeah. Yes, wedding. Yes, the, the wedding is uh don't no, what is that the for the husband and the wife? Es matrimonio, matrimonio. matrimonio. Yes, that's correct. Se casaron. Mm -hmm. And wonderful. Wonderful is the synonym excellent. Excellent. Oh, okay. Okay, teach. Okay. That's it. All right. Any other questions? Any other words? Got us. Which word? What's meaning got us? The, in Robert? In Robert? Is, I, call it, I called my parents and, and I, they came and got us. Ah, is they came and give a ride. For example, like Uber, <laughs> the parents got got us. The parents went for Robert in the car. Como que fueron por él. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And what is cuffed in Erin? And Erin is the ending. Uh, in, caught here. Oh. I caught. Yeah. Is the past of catch and catch. Ah, ah okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The catcher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Yes. And airing, what is the meaning of tent? Uh, it's like the Indians or for camping. The Indian, the, woo, 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 they have the tent. Ah, okay. Thank mm. you. You're welcome. Teacher, in Erin, they said, then we built a fire. Es como una fogata. Correct. Okay. Any other words? No, the other vocabulary is okay? It's okay. Okay. It's okay too. Okay. Listen one more time. Listen for the pronunciation, and then we are going to practice. In this moment, listen for the pronunciation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. 
I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Dress. After. One more time. Any questions? Any words? No. Okay. No. Okay, perfect. In this moment, we are going to practice the conversation. But the conversation we're going to practice, the, sorry, the, the reading, we are going to read with the partner, okay? So with a partner, we want to practice the three. One, two, and three. And my partner, one, two, and three. Let's see. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Hi, everyone. 
In this class, we'll develop skills in reading from main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Any questions? Any words that is difficult to pronounce? Husband. The conversation oh. is very difficult. I... A little difficult. Yeah. Yes. I'll be honest with you. It's okay. It's, that's, it's the idea is for us to practice the conversation of what uh, the pronunciation and what they do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to, again, tomorrow, we are going to practice the past tense, the past tense. But tomorrow, no weekend story. Tomorrow, you, what you do in the past, in the weekends, uh, the last month, the last vacation. So remember the verbs, how to make the verbs in the past tense. And tomorrow, we practice the sentences for you. Okay. 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 So remember, it's like the, it's like the example. It's like the example from here. It's no Kelly, Robert, Aaron. It's you. Ah, I had, I went, I saw. Is your activities? Okay. Okay. Good. I see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Bye. 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 B